Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Sony Xperia XA Ultra. Uh, obviously, it's not really that fair of a comparison because the XA Ultra uh, is a mid-ranger and the S7 Edge is a high-end device. But nonetheless, I figured it would be interesting to see how they stack up. So we're going to start off with rebooting the phones. Now with the XA Ultra, uh, you can get this for around half as much as the S7 Edge. Go ahead and restart them. And although the XA Ultra is a mid-ranger, it does have a couple advantages over the S7 Edge. Uh, so one of those is screen size, 6 inches versus 5.5. Mm. Uh, and I do think that the S7 Edge has a better overall screen. Uh, it's 2K versus 1080p on the XA Ultra. But again, the XA Ultra does have that screen size uh, advantage. And the XA Ultra, also the front-facing camera, uh, really an incredible camera, the best on any smartphone to date. Uh, 16 megapixels of OIS versus 5 on the S7 Edge. So, yeah, so the S7 Edge is already up. And there is the XA Ultra. Alright, so we'll get right into it. I uh, have this app page over here. Alright, so nothing is open on either one. Close out of that. Alright, so let's start with Temperon 2. Alright, so interesting. It looks like the XA Ultra. Wow, actually off to a faster start here. Alright, so definitely wasn't expecting that, but XA Ultra looks like it run, uh, won this round. Now, I do gotta say, I played some games, uh, and S7 Edge is definitely smoother, but I guess it won here, uh, booting up the game. So, pretty impressive there. Let's open up, we'll do Chrome a little bit later, let's do CNN. Alright, so a little faster there on the S7 Edge. Let's do settings. Pretty close. Let's do iFunny. Oops. Clicked on that too quickly. Close that. Alright, I funny. Pretty close, but edge to the edge. Uh, we'll do YouTube. Alright, so faster there on the XA Ultra. Uh, let's do Spotify. Again, pretty close. Gotta say, the XA Ultra is doing pretty well here. Uh, let's do Calculator. So the XA Ultra only has a Helio P10 processor, uh, MediaTek processor versus uh, Snapdragon 720 on the S7 Edge. Uh, let's see. Do Quark. Again, very close. To ESPN. Pretty close there. Um, all right, let's do. Next up is Asphalt 8. So the S7 Edge also has one more gateway RAM, 4 versus 3. Uh, and the rear-facing camera is 21.5 megapixels on the XA Ultra versus 16, or either 12 on the S7 Edge. Uh, but I think that the S7 Edge rear-facing camera may be a little bit better, but I'll test that out. So yeah, this round, it goes to the S7 Edge. Overall, though, so pretty close. Uh, in terms of all the apps, pretty close. Of course, the XA Ultra won at Temple Run. 
Uh, let's roll up the galleries. Right, I think that was the S7 Edge. To eBay. Alright, so S7 Edge there. Uh, let's do uh, calendar. Alright, so again, S7 Edge. Uh, so you're seeing that it's starting to get a little bit better with the S7 Edge as you go on. Probably because more of the apps are open. Then let's just do photos. Pretty close. Alright, so I'm going to close out of all the apps here. And then we're going to do camera test. And we'll do Chrome as well. All right, so we're just going to snap a few pictures. Uh, actually, let me make sure the resolutions are the same on these. Alright, so you see picture size here, let's set it to, actually I think we can do, let's see, there are not more options on the S7 Edge. Alright, so I guess 16 megapixels will have to do, we'll just do the maximum which is 12 on here. Alright. So it looks like the S7 Edge will be faster snapping pictures. Although the XA Ultra is winning some of the rounds. Alright, and so last let's just do Chrome. Alright, we'll do IGN. Alright, so uh, XA Ultra won that to Yahoo. Alright, again, the XA Ultra won that to CNN. And it looks like once again the XA Ultra won that. Or well, let's wait for it. Yep, alright. Well, I gotta say, I think the XA Ultra did pretty well this test. Um, yeah, I mean, I think overall. Mm, I mean, overall, I think uh, kind of hard to call a definite winner. Uh, so I think that in itself is a win for the XA Ultra. Uh, so, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see next, and thanks for watching.